All right, welcome back. This is the point of the show where we decide who walks the plank. A lot of different candidates out there. I don't think we're going to pick any Buccaneers this week only because it was a shocking, surprising, great win. So let's go with someone on the Saints side. Could be Rob Ryan, the defensive coordinator. Maybe it could be, I don't know, you can maybe even argue. Uh, well, I, I, know you, I, I know you like Rob Ryan, and, and I'll, t I'll tell you, I think up until they had the two fumble recoveries there late in the game, yeah. I, I thought that he'd be – uh, a pretty good candidate. But then but someone had, came in and took him out. Just somebody who had no clue what he was doing out there. Uh, Dalvin Briel, who uh, stood in for Bird, who was out mm -hmm. uh, for uh, New Orleans, had no idea. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the man walking the plank is New Orleans Saints quarterback, Dalvin Briel. My kick never, ever gets old. Clearly. No, it never does. In never. fact, it gets more impressive as the weeks go on. It does, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we do have some uh, some takes takeaways from uh, this game. Uh, first of all, I thought it was great to see. I thought the defense coming to life in this game. Uh, the one thing I do want this team to do is I want them to play to win for 60 minutes, not play not to lose at the end of the game. You know, when they have that kind of a lead, uh, you know, I want them to I want them to remember that it goes 60 minutes, not. 48 to 52 to 55 minutes yeah. and uh, enjoy this win uh, be, because but don't get overexcited because as we said earlier in the show uh, New Orleans is not the New Orleans of several years ago well uh, you just echoed what I was about to say it's just one win you have to be more consistent in my three takeaways the Buccaneers offense like we talked about this entire show so far why not keep your pedal to the metal in those play calls on offense you got to keep going the defense cannot let up either and come on protect the football they need to do that turnovers are going to come back and bite them um, it didn't last week but it did against the titans so we'll see what happens coming up next week or this coming sunday i should say against the texans Speaking it amazes football. me that we sit here on, uh, talking about a professional level of football and talking about protecting the football yeah i mean you learn that when you're knee high to nothing mm -hmm. you know playing in midgets where your helmets are 10 times the size of your head unbelievable so we have to make predictions Okay, it, you know, this is very early for me to make a prediction. Well, we don't have any injury reports. We don't know who's going to be playing quarterback for the Texans. Will it be Ryan Mallett? Will it be Brian Hoyer? It, there's a lot of unknown going into this week for the Texans. Plus, there's no Arian Foster. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Who do you like in this game? Well, because is, there's is no... Is straight up or against the spread? Uh, well, we don't, what, what is the spread Six right and now? a half. Six and a half? Okay. Houston is minus six and a half. I'm going to take the Buccaneers to win uh, only because... Since there's no Arian Foster, there's, there's n I've been against the Bucs <laughs> a lot of different times. I'm kidding, man. This time, I think the Bucs can pull out another one with this momentum on their side. Arian Foster is not there. No really good, consistent quarterback play from the Texans with Brian, Brian, Brian Hoyer Mallett. Brian or Mallett. Ryan Mallett. Yeah. Um, so, a lot of those questions, I think that favors the Bucs. Okay, well, I'm going to take Houston. Okay. And the reason why I'm taking Houston is, is they're, they're a better football team than what they put. They also played Carolina yesterday. Remember that? Now, That's Carolina true. was without Keekley. So that was uh, somewhat of a surprise, but their fill-in, was it Lewis? Mm -hmm. I forget. Came in, and he had one of the plays of the game. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Carolina has a very, very good defensive team. Uh, I, I thought New Orleans might have been the, the class mm -hmm. of this division, but I certainly am wrong at this stage of the game. I agree with Carolina you. Carolina right now. Atlanta, I think, is a blip on the screen. I don't believe in them yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what I find interesting is that Atlanta is like only minus one and a half going on the road, and I forget what they're playing, but it did make sense to me. So I, But those guys seem to know more than I know in Vegas. Well, I mean, that's why they're in the big bucks, I guess you could say, and take the big bucks from everybody else from betting every exactly, week. Exactly, exactly. I don't know. I think the one thing to keep your eye on, too, with the Buccaneers going into this game is Mike Evans. I mean, he was targeted three times this week, coming off the hamstring injury, didn't play that, all, that much. I want to see how he's going to be doing at practice that this week. That guy's got zero, 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 zero. So he's got no catches. He's got and, nothing. And he's – Going to break out eventually. Well, yeah, you know, they said that he was, uh, I guess, sort of prescribed to mount of plays mm -hmm. in that game because of his hamstring injury. Uh, but even when he was in there. Like a pitch count. It's almost as if, it's almost as if I, I know he was open on a couple of occasions. One of them, wide open. Yeah. Ridiculous. And, and Winston just didn't see him. He's got to look. He's got to look for the kid. I mean, it, you know, Vincent, uh, Vincent Jackson, I, I give that guy a lot of credit because he went across the middle a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he got missed getting clocked. But uh, one of these days he's going to get clocked. And I, I, I don't want to see that because with those two guys in, I think that really 
that, that's a great combination to have, and you can't offset and roll your safeties over to one side and double team a uh, Vincent Jackson without a Mike Evans. Yeah, hopefully both those guys get going here against the Texans. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, uh, that does it for week two in the National Football League here for the Plank. I'm John Sable. And I'm Tom Corrin. Join us next week here on the Plank at noon on ABCActionNews.com. Thanks for joining us.